Whoa, a fucking sword! Let me take that! I want my, I want your fucking sword. I always wanted a cool sword like that. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dark Cloud. Yes, I'm still continuing this. I'm continuing this whether you like it or not. You're gonna have to live with it. Fuck. Or this shit. Fuck. Fear not. The game is getting to its conclusion. No, it's not really. There's still like two more dungeons to go. Woo, road. Well, two more dungeons, two more separate dungeons. I guess we should kill Mr. Mysterious Sandman. Uh, I guess we'll just go with Zhao. Okay. Look at. She does great kitty damage. Oh, the sand penis. Watch out for that sand penis. Steel giant. Oh no. Oh, her freeze ability. It paid off. I forgot to get auto repair powder. Gotta keep an eye out on that stuff. Is that looking pink? Pink beam. Oh, you can actually read it. Okay. I was wondering that. I don't know what she's set to, so we have to go on weapon, attribute, set a holy there we go. And of course we do the obligatory first person attack. Hiya! Yeah. That's what I do. You emote what you say and do. How's some holy? I'll put some more holy. It's not doing too well. Let's try a different element with her. That's the annoying thing with her, is to get her most effectiveness is to <laughs> switch. Is that, was that an ice dragon? It's a blue dragon. So I made this weakness. Oh! It did like a double shot. That's not fair. Yeah, that's right. To die. Blue dragon. Isn't there a game called Blue Dragon? I have never played Blue Dragon. That's a nice thing to get right there. Oh, we better get an Ungaga weapon. Never mind. It's a mimic of the King Baryathal. Eh. 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 I don't know. I'm sticking with Ruby. I'm just figuring out. Eh. Get her. Oh shit. It leveled. Uh, I'm. What's the build up again? Definitely want to invest in some of the other gems at some point, or at least do the back rooms and get really good gems. Get a really good gem. Really good. Okay, enough of that bullshit. Back to murder. Shit, I, I know it's urgently telling me stop doing stupid. Stupid has not been done. Eh. No repair. Got lots of repair about it. At some point I do want to do the werewolf thing again. The werewolf farm. It's it's such a it's so good it's ridiculously good it does not make a damn lick of sense. I'll just describe it. It's basically floor ten in the forest section, the back rooms there. It's always werewolves and they get an insane amount of ABS. It's ridiculous. I mean I think I must have I must have explained this before or at least to some extent not in full details of where it's at and what I fight, just what it gives. Gron. Oh, Gron! Fighting this dude! Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, he pecker spammed me. He must be popular in prison. <laughs> he, let's use kitty power. Oh, whoa! Excuse him. Mom! Monsieur. Oh, it's blindsided by that blue dragon. He's trying to get as close as possible. Ridiculously, that's where he... Oh, she's getting it from all angles. Okay, let's get over here. Did I even get the floor key yet? Oh, I got stop on him. Fuck him up. Yes. How much would I give? Give a good chunk. Does she have the big box effect? I think she does. Oh no. Yeah, she has the level. Now I have to look up what her. Actually, I think no matter what, she always ends up with the best weapon. Her best weapon. She only has one best of her weapon. Okay, so she just needs more attack, wind, and beast strength. We must have got those categories because she got the two times and she became really good. It's kind of a strange mechanic, but that's how she wake. Oh wait, I didn't even level her up. Waste. What was I doing? 
Clearly, I'm out of my element. <laughs> I had the gems on there. Okay. I need to look at my bar. Okay. Oh, a good thing I'm already Zhao. She's all about the flippities. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's actually still quite a bit of shit left in this dungeon. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Gonna kill double steel giants. Oh, there's the floor key. We're gonna get fucked up. Okay. Good God. Even when she does a lot, decent, she does a decent amount of damage. It's like it takes still, still takes a while. This kitty, the weakest, actually has some strength right now. So if she gets hit by a limited zone, it's like, hey, I can do things. Technically, I should be trying to focus more levels into Ungaka because I'm sure it's gonna throw a limited. Or did it already throw a limited zone? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look at my own part. I'm pretty sure it already did. Now it's just throwing whatever the hell it wants at us. When it gets to certain levels. Notice when it's frozen, it does more damage. Which is great. Really need to get that on a <coughs> someone else. I do have the antique sword, so I am tempted to put it on Tone, because he does become the best character in the game. He evolves. Speaking of Tone, let's be him. Because we need to be him. Chief Bunga. Let's actually go. Let's go melee. Oh, repair powder. That's right. I can steal with him. Uh, it's taking like extreme. That would have been bad. That's the downside to his. Uh, for some reason, his weapon gets fucked up. Especially when attacking the giant. Let's look at the. Let's look at the WHP when I do that. Like, look at that. Look at that d giant chunks that took out. When you hit enemies like golems, it's best to be ranged most of the time. So, that's why a lot of time I just stay a ranged character. Because they don't face that uh, damage to the weapon. I'm tempted to do a limited zone, but I think... Uh, uh, there's actually a good place to farm it here, since I got three of those keys. I just need to look up the floor. But, we'll worry about it another time. It'll be another little farming thingy. Uh, that's the thing, it's like you want to just do the limited zone that's most beneficial for getting your levels, since you don't get those floor keys too often. It's a bit of a downside to when you get them, at least if you're, if you're, if you care that much. Okay, so... Let's just look to the side and see if we see any chests. No, oh, right away. Hey there! Hello, chesticle. Fruit of Eden. Uh, Consider yourself eaten. Of the fruit. Uh, yeah, of Eden. At least I think. How much do we have? We got three. And everyone's, I think, at 140 right now. Alright, fuck it. Let's get tone it. You get to be 150, bruh. I am so strong. I eat the fruit. Well, yeah, unfortunately, things water doesn't come back. I'm just keep them at 150 for now. I want to kind of save it up, because we might be getting into the conclusion of the temple arc, but I don't know. It's 17 floors? Is it, I think that the temple, the floors get a little bit more extensive, naturally. They do. I'm sure there's some chests I might be missing in prior zones. I'm going to just have to scour about. Oh, yeah. I forgot I should this. Yeah, it has this extra stretch. Just fast traveling would, be, would have been best. Pointless BS. Why does this game challenge my patience? Oh, coffins change. Oh, well, look at the look at here. Are we capable of doing this? Or are we gonna have to do an event back in town before con concluding? Oh, What's this? something could fit in it. I don't think I have these. Shit. Okay, we have to... The dungeon is probably gonna say, no monsters. Okay, so we gotta do some, uh, eventos. Eventos are always welcome. Yes, 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 it's time. It is time to do thing. Who's this fucker? He looks crazy. Prisoner of war. Oh, he's a POW. 
Wow, I didn't have much left. Oh, are we gonna have to ask the prisoner, hey, what do you want to restore? Uh, a, a key to escape? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a cheap house. Oh, is he gonna want that weird thing? Oh no, that's Toto. Is this fucker really gonna ask for a sign? Really? Okay. Oh, where's the prison? To here? I don't know. Prisoner's cabin. Oh, hey, bro. How's it going? We won! This ain't a show, you know. Hello. <laughs> we won! Looking for a fairy guy. You, like, you just irritates me. Oh, uh, yep. I want to see the sunrise. What's wrong with that? Something. I don't know. What do you need for your home? What? Are you blind? I'm a prisoner. Not an interior decorator. decorator. Are you stupid or what? Then put a sign up in front, like, Mighty Gar- <laughs> Yeah, I figured. Gorinus Maximus. It was mostly- it was mostly a joke. It's like, oh, okay. Ask and thou shalt receiveth. Let's say- let's see his cutscene, I guess. Dude! I love my new home! Like, tcha! I really wanted to be in a prison. Oh, I guess- okay, I guess I'm giving you a Californian stereotype voice, okay. <laughs> so it's you! That hero, that guy, restoring this village. Yeah. Hey, don't waste your time. This world's already dimmed. Chef, get fucked, bruh. I am Mungo Girl. I like eating Cheerios. They're very tasty. He's Gron, the a scorpion warrior. One of us sand warriors. Mortal enemies. He was taken hostage a year ago. He's a dangerous one. Don't get close. Eh? Uh... He, he, he's a sand warrior. Hey, that's you, huh, Ungaga? Well, if I ever get out of this cage, you'll be dead. I hear you. I don't know why I did that noise. It's a ritual thing. It's part of our sand warrior clan uh, sing, singing thing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I hear you're on there on the downside these days, you coward. That was fucking weird. What kind of conversation was that? Eat shit. Uh, uh, why? <laughs> okay. You're free now. Huh? Look, I, I was just kidding. We both know I don't stand a chance against you. What is with you? Come on. Don't get mad, bruh. I'll, I'll destroy the cell. You'll destroy the cell. I'll destroy the cell. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, uh, what? What? Oh, that's, I thought he was like gonna say, no, I let you go. You are too weak to be in prison or some shit. And so he's like, it was just a flex. Okay. It's finished. What? I got it. Just go away. I didn't even get anything. I mean, I guess I got a cutscene. Uh, is this gonna be one of those things where I have to con conclude a cutscene to get one thing and then the other thing? Where's Toto's house? We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> okay, let's go in this pothead's house. <laughs> What's Caban here? Oh, a very touching scene. Hi! Something's wrong with Gosuke. Oh, okay. Hi! Hello. Good morning. Afternoon. Gosuke won't move that much anymore. Toto. Ah, oh, Gosuke, you scared me. Come on, get up. Toto, it's time to say goodbye. Gosuke's mission shall now begin. What? What are you saying? What do you mean, goodbye? We've always told each other we'd be together forever. Friends forever, right? Friend. Gosuke is Toto's friend? Well, yeah, we're friends forever. Gosuke is Toto's friend. But Gosuke is not human. Inside Gosuke is magical treasure. It's the power that keeps me moving. Gosuke's task is to protect the treasure. Last task is to pass on the treasure. <laughs> what? We're, we're each other's only friend. I can't let you go. No, I won't let you. Gosuke has a friend long ago. Who's talking? Is it him? I guess it's him because he's moving. I couldn't tell. 
Another friend, he created Gosuke. Gosuke promised him. Promised to protect his treasure until the time when a special person arrives to get it. Gosuke keeps his promises. No, don't do that. You're, you're all I have, Gosuke. You're the only friend I have. No, please. Gosuke, Toto's friend. Gosuke, in the next life, I will become human. Then I will stay as Toto's friend forever. Gosuke promise. Gosuke keep promises. <laughs> Toto friend. Always Gosuke friend. Gosuke keeps promises. Toto always friend. Gosuke! Whoa, a fucking sword! Let me take that! I want my, I want your fucking sword. I always wanted a cool sword like that. Hey, that treasure must be yours. Hurry up, take it! It was Gosuke's last act! Okay, so cool. I always wanted a cool sword. Now I got a cool sword. Hey! Hey! Hmm. Sun sword. It's a sword made of the sun. This is a key item? It's just a cool sword. I'm gonna break it down, I guess. Gosuke. Hey, you're gonna beat that thing with Gosuke's treasure, right? You have to beat it. You have to beat it. Uh, yes. Oh, treasure. Stonebreaker. How appropriate, considering we just... Uh, witnessed a golem die. Now you get something that's capable of killing him. Oh look, another thing. Mighty healing, yeah. And needles. He's got the. Uh, he's got his weakness and needles. I guess he's got a little bit of both. He's got his pain and pleasure. <laughs> uh. Anyways, uh, was this? Was there anything that helps us? Um. Chief's house. Will he give us the stones we need? Oh, really? He'd be like, you gotta fuck with the... Oh, he worships this. Oh, yeah, now I think I remember. The things on that main totem always have to be facing, so the tit thing's gonna have to face this his house. He must be an old pervert. Let me... That was kind of like a weird slide. Oh, yeah, you got a dirt mound you have to keep re-piling re on to get out of your house, right? Oh, this is the chief? Okay. Who says a woman can't be a chief, am I right? You seem to be sneaking around everywhere lately. Who are you anyway? What? You want to take out that moon ship from the temple? Whose permission do you have to do such a thing? <sighs> oh, this fucking hookah's good. Hey, you want some, kid? I know you're young, but whatever. Gotta start sometime. Uh, anyways, that temple is a sacred place that we, desert people of the moon of the moon people have maintained together. A very noble king named... Uh, okay, th now this is an interesting name. Bamulumba Hamolumba. Good luck. <laughs> okay, I'm not... You better not keep saying that. Rest there. Yeah. Bamulumba Hamolumba. Hamolumba. Sounds like a song. I can't give a signet to just anybody. You best come back some other time. Unga go here, chief. Oh, I guess I figured it'd be Ungi. Hey, Unga, save me! Oh, it's you, Unga. -ga. Chief, Tone is someone we can trust. He saved Mirka and others. Tone can defeat the Dark Genie. Hmm. Yes. Witness my earlobes; they are mighty. Oh, is that so? Well, since it's coming from Unga, -ga, I have no doubt. Well, where should I start? First, how to conquer the Sun and Moon Temple. Wow, <sighs> yeah, this is some good fucking shit. <clears throat> Anyways, listen carefully. To reach the last room where the moon ship is stored, you must enter through the King's Room. To enter the King's Room, you need two signets. One is the Sun Signet, handed down by the Chiefs of Muskalaka. The other is the Moon Signet. The moon people who maintain the shrine are supposed to have it. 
But, that's not the case anymore. The lazy moon people entrusted us with the moon signet so they can relax in the woods. Oh well, yeah, they're fuckers. I hate them. And then fucking little Ewok bastards are gonna eat them. Anyways, meaning the two signets are both here in Muskalaka. Unfortunately, they aren't here. Zambo and Enga each have one. I'll tell them about you so you can get the signets from them. Anyway, good luck to you. Oh, we air walk. Oh, wait a minute. A boy in a green hat. Say, those eyes of yours. You have beautiful eyes. I knew another man who had the same sparkling eyes. Mm, yes, mm, they're pro colored. They're very beautiful. When I was young, he was the only man who could beat me. He was handsome, but that was more than 20 years ago. Ah, but here I am going on and on. Young man, be strong like he was. Okay, then. But that was pointless. Careful uh, that... This is not to a dangerous place. What was the name? It was like Enga? Enga Kuka? Send words. I still remember that letter. I'm pretty sure it was one of them. Oh, random pocket. Hello. <laughs> well, let's add that to our trailer now, shall we? Tone, eat it. Oh, I eat pocket to go in more space. Oh, okay, that was delicious. Um, could use more of that, please. Any, uh, any little treasures you got stashed away here? Oh, diamond slayer. Oh, I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna take the premium chicken from your table. <laughs> Walk away. Sorry, no dinner for you tonight. It's mine now. It's like in Chrono Trigger when you eat that sandwich. Now I'm gonna get that naughty karma point in a trial later on. Okay, so I think it was like Inga. Inga go in Toto. Was it Toto? Oh, Zabo. I think Zabo. Oh, cutscene? Ah, there you are. I heard it all from the chief. This is the moon signet, don't lose it. Okay. Moon signet. Some moon is dangerous lately, be careful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. Alright, thanks for pulling me inside for that. We could have walked outside. That's a nice little... Weird little standee you got there. What a queer. Anyways, where's a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Whoa! That was fast. I heard I've I heard from Bonka. Here. And it's the sun signet. A very pointless endeavor. Trusting an outsider like you. I wonder what she's up to. Hmm? Oh, here we go. Hmm? What? And what well, you look like that guy. The guy who is your father. Hmm. Uh, now I know. You look exactly the same as he. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep, I'm sure you'll be able to stand up to even that genie. Good luck to you. Okay then, I will now kill him. Additional event feature! Okay then, so we uh... We gonna conclude this little, little, little thingy. Of course I am capable of getting the... Diorama analysis, but of course, no request. I think it's just the totem system. They all have to face their... Let's just test this. I know it's kind of weird. I'm just doing this on the fly. It's, I'm just trying to... Kind of, we're trying to figure out the puzzle together, guys. She didn't gain any analysis on that. So maybe the pole guardian is facing the wrong way? Or maybe the house is? Maybe it's... So I'm going to mess around with this for a bit, and we'll get back to it. All right, so this is the layout I have, which I think I got, I think the last thing is to complete killing the boss. Since it sits at 88%, the rest is probably involving killing the boss. I'll have to admit, I looked this up on a, <laughs> on Google, like the best layout, and it actually is quite a fetching little layout for what this game provides. It's actually down to a T, just cause I want, oh good, I wanted to show off my work, but no game transition, I mean, was their show off. This is a crusty old PS2 game. But yeah, this is yeah, this is kind of a nice appealing loadout. Or loadout or build. So yeah, we are going to use those stun stones and fight the boss of this zone and move on. Doesn't that sound exciting? Yes. Yes! 
Sounds exciting, Goku. Mm, yes. So I think, well, I'm sure, like, anytime we get a new character, we're gonna have to use Ungaga's whirlwind technique to probably, I don't know, remove thing. Okay, so now we put our little sunstone here. And we put our little... Did that even work? <laughs> it gave no... It registered nothing, but I guess it's only... Boom. Ah, uh, a cutscene. I am the Eye of Saruman. Hey, Vati. I see you. It's a social platform you can utilize to talk with friends online with little 3D avatars. Oh no, it's I'm you. <laughs> It's an eye. Maybe if I stab it in the eyeball. Okay, so combat. Okay. Whoever disturbs my sleep shall be punished by death. Mm. Gross. Angaga, clear the smog. I'm guessing. King's curse. Oh, hey, Fairy King, haven't seen you in a while. Tone, the ancient king's spirit is possessed by Doc, the Doc Genie, as well. Can you defeat him? Yeah, me sure. Angaga will show up and say, Hey, use me. I am the secret sauce. Oh, yeah, I better repair shit. Oh, I didn't get auto repair powder still. I'm stupid. Uh, I think we're going to be fine now. I'm just going to repair and be safe. Okay, just in case it does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Uh, he doesn't do half bad damage, but this boss might be long because of it. Oh, oh can I hit him again? Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's actually... Oh, he's doing some trippy moves. Oh, get away. Use Drown's Feather. Oh, it's on the right input. Okay, uh, can we do this still? It did work, but we exchanged blows. Uh, let's switch to tone. Damage dealing, motherfucker. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, that's an, that's the only thing is switching characters for better damage. But I think that would be the quickest way to do this, as tedious as it is. Okay, tone. Hiya. Hey, look at that damage. He's pretty good now. Remember when tone he was struggling? Now he's actually a capable little. He's a capable little. Man. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just figure out the secret. It's easy as pie. That Ice Queen was a lot harder in that uh, other dungeon. Uh, uh. It's because she was kind of cryptic in a way. Oh no, what do we do but use Tone? We could try Goro, but I feel like... Uh, I mean, 150 is pretty fucking good. That's pretty solid. Could try to do a charge attack, but actually, let's try Goro's ch uh, charge attack. We might be able to do a lot of damage. Okay, let's see if we can pull it off. That's an extreme lag. Oh no, it doesn't allow. It only allows one hit. <laughs> okay, no combo action. Uh, uh, for some reason, it breaks lock on like he's a completely different entity. Oh, well, that's still counted. Oh, you can't switch weapons. What a fucking tragedy. Could try a charge attack. At least the first charge attack for Tone. But look at that weapon sustaining damage just doing that twirl. Okay. What is the noise? <laughs> what is he like making airplane plane noises? Oh, yeah, that's really good damage. Yeah, we better try to keep maintaining that, since this is kind of dirt easy. Come at me, Ungaga Twirl! I know, not the Ungaga Twirl. What in ever should we do about the Ungaga Twirl? That's good. That's like double damage right there. That's like dang old, that's like dang old double damage right there. <laughs> the only unfortunate thing is he doesn't really trip anything up. Oh, whoops. That was unintended. Hi, uh, too, uh, too late. That's a repair. 
No, oh, ooh, okay. We'll do it this menu then. Transitioning through menus is a bit of a pain. Hi, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's repair Tone. He's a broken person. And while we're at it, should we bother repairing? We should probably focus on Ungagigugu. Ungigs. Here's the one we need. Oh, no, he's moving faster. Okay, we need to twirl ahead of time. There we go. Seems like doing the initial twirl does a little bit of damage. Get fucked! I was not expecting so much damage! <sighs> no! Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry for bumping shit. I don't mean to do it. It just happens. I get so... Oh, I get so excited! I get so excited to bump shit. I'm excited to be done in this area. It's always fun to be in a new area. <laughs> 